Don't think about just a solo issue. <laughs> no. Let's get it. Neither the woman without the man in the Lord. See, the two go together like faith and works. Yes, sir. Uh, let's get it. it makes sense. For as the woman is of the man, uh -huh. even so is the man also by the woman. Right. But all things of God. So, the man and woman, then the woman uh, gives birth to a man child. So a man is still of the woman. So it's telling you, you're going to need each other. You ain't going to be able to do without each other. One without the other is going to stop existence. If it's all men, oh, all right. huh? Yeah. <laughs> Who going to be looking at you like you, like he looking at you like he wants you to bear his child? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, this letting you know that that how like the GMS cats say that the, this is God's most terrible enemy, y'all. Enemy, enemy of God. And right here, God is saying you need a woman. We need it for existence, for Israel to continue. Another loophole in their doctrine. What you got, bro? So what we got today is like music. We can tell the women to be independent. You know what I mean? Right. Absolutely. This is what it's doing. We got them so strong to be going against the word. Now right. right. Now you see what's happening. And you got Neil right. I can't stand his fifth women anyway. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> understand this. Understand this. Hold on. Understand this. There's, there's in, independent only being able to take care of themselves. But when they throw in the part, I don't need a man, now it's violating the law because right. it says neither is the woman without the man. See, they can be independent. Yeah, they can run their own, they can do anything. When you read about the virtuous woman, she's independent. She's buying, she's selling, she's making clothes. But the bottom line is, it mentions they know her. Right, it mentions she's she's married. Married. She right. so it, 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 that other part ain't in, I don't need you. Right, right. And that's Proverbs 31, well, about the virtuous woman. Well, her own existence for her, they don't meet. That's right. So well, they are independent. Ain't no independence. She well, well, don't need to when, when you the independence at, of the cleave into one flesh. Right, and, and we just have to look at independence differently of how they're saying it. You have to listen to the lyrics they're saying. They're saying, be independent, free of a man. We're not talking about that type of independence. A woman still has to be independent because her soul is required. When you get into 1 Corinthians 7, they say, don't you know, woman, oh woman, you can save thy husband. So you have to get a, some form of independence of yourself with the law of God if he ain't acting right. Right, right. And you can possibly save him just like the same thing with the man. Don't you know you can save your woman? If she watch you or he watches her, then they can fall under her grace or you can fall, woman, you can fall under his grace. Like Noah's wife. Like Lot's like, wife, right, right, right. fall under their grace. So you have to be understand it from that perspective, you know. But when you when you're listening to that song, you're listening for error. But the error is you don't need a man. What this is just the opposite. Y'all need each other. Y'all got to have each other or existence stop. Because none of us live or die to ourselves. That's right. That's We're right. not individuals to that, to that extent. I mean, Adam and Eve received two different punishments, they, and you can't go into judgment with she somebody else. She got an individual punishment, didn't she? she For did. an individual act. For an individual act. Let's get it. Where we at? Verse 12. Verse 13. No, you got that. 13. Okay. Judging yourselves. Right. Is it comely that a woman pray unto God so uncovered? So he said, judge in yourselves. What's the order of prayer? We just seen what they ought to pray. Numbers 30 is the law. This is the judge. Can a woman pray to the Lord and her husband there and she's praying over him? You know. It's one thing if he's sinning and he's about to take them down, then she's asking the Lord everywhere like Abigail. All the women ask the Lord to change their husband's heart. Will you do this? 
If he won't listen, then that's on him. I understand that. But they ask that. They don't go over him and Lord, Willie just ain't gonna do right. Ain't no need. I don't know why you keep wasting your time. <laughs> he just ain't gonna hear you. And me being his help me, I figure you need to come through me. See, this is what Miriam did. Mm -hmm. She asked, has the Lord only called you and Moses? <clears throat> Hell, from last I checked, I was a prophetess. <clears throat> it's written about me. <clears throat> what did the Lord do? Hey, to, the, to, the, to the piggies. Shit, your it's no a breaking piggies. of the orders here. Number chapter 12. And he begged, Lord, please, please, Lord, I'm sorry. He said, Miriam, you leapfrogged everybody. You doing the most fat mouth. Okay. Mm. I'm going to put leprosy on you just to let you know about speaking out of turn. Mm -hmm. See, there's even order with prophets. There's still order with. There's still, there's male prophets, there's female prophetess. But there's still order. Deborah asked prophetess Hook when she made final judgment. Didn't she? Then, then uh, uh, Ruth and Naomi, all of them, yeah. put in how the Queen Esther yeah. talked to Mordecai, mm -hmm. her uncle. Look, this is what the king want me to do. I'm in this position. But hey, in the, in the fact that a prophet is the definition and the difference between what they say the definition is today, is just they were given specific prophecies that were fulfilled, but that the Lord didn't continue using them like you know, the disciples or any other other brothers in the camp to say that these they people quit. call themselves prophets since the day. No, uh, not like what's today, the but it actually thing. see that that this son and his daughters, this is a, this is after Christ ascension that his son, I mean his daughters, they were prophets. So we see that that the most high did the well three and also Acts 2, he said, in that day I'm gonna pour out the Spirit of God, and both men and women shall prophesy. Didn't he say both of them gonna yeah. prophesy? Your sons and daughters. Your sons and daughters. Women can prophesy. Let's get it straight, but that stuff, Juanita Bynum done? That's the difference. That's the difference. She should have seen teaching. her husband go put them lips so inside. You, so you said women she can prophesy. She should have prophesied that. They can, but they can't like teaching. Teach. Uh, teaching is two different things. Prophesying, hold it down, y'all. Prophesying is you get the word of the Lord and you repeat it. That's prophecy. Teaching is. Is and it said a woman. Understand what the word says. It says a woman shall not usurp authority when teaching. Understand it. You go out a tag team like Priscilla and Aquila, right. husband and, and wife team. She would some things. He like can you think of it. Right on Timon. You want Isaiah fifty, baby? <laughs> Isaiah fifty goes on her. She's helping you know with his teaching because she know he was short right. the same way Zipporah did for Moses on the way to Pharaoh. She like look when the angel went to kill Moses yeah. because he didn't circumcise. Zipporah saved him, an Ethiopian woman. She like Moses, you gonna get us killed before we even get to Pharaoh? <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? You tripping? But she, you can't like take over. You can't take over like yeah. he's trying to break some off, and you know yeah, she he, he just way. He just yeah. fixed up now. <laughs> See, that's what your problem is. You had a problem paying bills. You didn't go to school. You quit <laughs> in the twelfth grade. Just like you just a quitter. See, this is what I'm talking about. Henry got some problems, so I'm gonna break it off for you. <laughs> you wanna go to Isaiah right there? Right you can't, you can't switch it to Jezebel. No, you right. can't. That's right. usurping authority. That means I moved him out of the way of his spot, and I'm taking control with this teaching. So, like all these women that's supposed to be like ministers and stuff, that's out of order. Right? That's how it is. It's a first. It's like uh, two on the left. Understand that they cannot stand up in a pulpit and teach me. Right. You, you can't do that. It's like a man leapfrogging Christ to go holler at the Father. It's the same way with these, what these uh, uh, false Christs are doing now. They are leapfrogging Christ. They're leapfrogging their head. They're, they're, they're covering their head up. You know, and, and now they're saying, I'm my own God. That's fine. 315, okay. Let's finish this up, y'all. Okay, let's finish this up. Go ahead, we're gonna finish this up, y'all, because we gotta get this speech done. Not, not, not really on what she just said about women preaching, and me and Judah went to a church and we asked her and showed her the scriptures ourselves, and she's right. saying she feels she so didn't do it because a man ain't doing it, a man locked up, a man See, out. understand she that, see, so she's fixing it now. Look, this is the same way with the Ark of the Covenant. Most high say I'd rather have obedience than sacrifice. Is that obedient? No. no. That's a sacrifice she's right. making that's, that's, right. that's bustling back. 
right. it's the same way when they went to get the ark. Israel was at war, the Philistine coming. Phineas and Hopney holler, go get the ark to two of their partners. Here they come, they done fold it up on the back of an oxen cart. The scriptures say it should be burned up by four Levites. Levites only. So when he put his hand to stop it from falling off the oxen cart, he was electrocuted and died. And people mad at him. He Lord, and Lord, he just was going to, Lord said, what are the instructions of going to get the ark? This is a personal beef somebody got in going to get the ark to fight their personal battle. It's the same way we do it. You trip and lay in work, then run all your grace out. Well, now, <laughs> you're saying that they're persecuting me because now I'm reading the scripture. You're reading the scripture because you're out. And you're trying to read it in front of them at the time clock. And thou art my shield and my buckler. Right. And you already three minutes late again, they already told you. The point system is up for you. Y'all persecute me. Y'all know you persecuted well, time. You. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's get it, y'all. Let's finish this up. Wait a minute. Verse, verse 14. Uh -huh. Doth not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is, it is a shame unto him. So right here we got people thinking they're saying a man can't long, have long hair. Well then, number six got to go out the window because that's the law of the Nazarites. That's right. For a man never to cut his hair. Samson never cut his hair. Right. He was a Nazarite unto God. Yeah. So we have to understand that. So it's saying nature is teaching you. But what it's talking about is if a man have... His glory is his hair, like a woman is her glory. If he puts his glory, his warm house above him, if she becomes his glory instead of Christ, or he decorates his hair like his woman, the where he was standing around facing some and all them flippy the dudes and that, and you don't know it, you put them trees through. And then they turn around with a full beard to be like, oh shh. <laughs> Thought you was right. But the main thing is, it's saying the nature teach you itself. It's saying in nature, never does the art leapfrog. You will never see the lion that's overpower the male lion. Right. The example right. we always give is Esther Woodrow. Right, right, that's Esther perfect Rand. example. Woodrow was the one that she tells shut up, and he always shut up, and she did all that. <laughs> right. Man, and, and also in nature, the only thing that leapfrogs kills the husband. And that's the man. black widow and the praying mantis. That's why they always do the story. The black widow on Elm Street. Seven husbands down working on number eight. <laughs> the black widow. Because in nature, the black female spider kills the husband when she used when she threw you when she done. And that's the only thing. Because so, the male give it and that's in power. nature. So that's the only thing it's telling you. Nature teach you that a man shouldn't switch roles with a woman. Let's get some more of this. Verse 16. Uh -huh. But if any man seem to be contentious, content uh -huh. we have no such custom, neither the churches of God. Now in this that I declare unto you, no, I no, praise... Verse 15, you missed. Verse 15? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Verse 15. This the kick. But if a woman have long hair, right. it is a glory to her. Right. For her hair is given... Her for a covering. So her hair is giving her for a covering if she have long hair. If she don't have a husband, it's signifying that I'm still single. I'm covered by Christ. This is my hair is my covering. But still, in this setting, we don't know that. We don't know what's going on. We, we call Shackville around here. We live together for many years. And then we say we still married, you know, under that sense. But the bottom line is if either one of you die, they go to the next of king. I don't care if you've been living together for 20 years. They go to the next of king. And they did heat up that way. So y'all, we, we have to understand what this is saying. That's how, so that right there is... See, like, your hair is giving your covenant because it's your glory. It says that when we started off. Right. The head of man is Christ. Every woman, the head of the woman, is her covering. It's her hair. That's her covering. That's her glory. See, that she already has a glory. If she respects her hair, if she respects the covering that was given to her naturally. But according to this, cover up. This don't mean you have to walk around with a covering all the time because it started off 
praying or prophesying. That's the order of it. It never said you had to worry her because we go through all the scriptures. When Isaac first met Rebecca, it said then she covered up when she came into his presence. Then they covered up. So they were walking around uncovered at this time. Her was out, but when they came into the covering of a man, or oh, this is the man who's finna take me, let me say I'm spoken for now. You know. So, and that's what they did. They covered up at those times. And, and we, we can get off these scriptures, but we kind of running out of time. Look, but when you read Numbers 30, you will understand it perfectly. Everybody write down Numbers 30. Do you see the covering of a woman? Her, 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 her father is, is, is her cover. Until she leaves her home and takes the last name of another man. Then he becomes her cover. But if she don't, her hair is given a cover because that's what was given to her until she finds a man. Her hair is her cover. Until she finds a man. But when you get into the order of praying and prophesying, Cover up spiritually to let all of the church and the congregation know what's going on. She's about to prophesy. Go ahead. You said until a woman finds a man, no, it's not. Well, well, finds, finds a woman. woman. Thank you, sister. Thank you exactly what I'm saying. Until a man finds a woman. The man that finds a wife finds it a good thing. Thank you very much, sister. Absolutely. Uh, so we, and, and that's a good clear thing because we got a woman on the hunt thing now. So she's looking for a metro section. He gets into his motions. He does this. He won't hit me. He won't do this. But he won't argue back at me. He won't be took no authority. He won't do nothing. Pass. That's what they are, and that's what happens when they go looking for a man. Pass. Right. Well, we have also write down uh, Ecclesiasticus or Sirach, okay. chapter forty-two. Oh. Verses 9 through 13. Just hit Isaiah chapter 3, y'all. We, we, we'll get on this, y'all. We're going to have to pick back on order. Yeah, 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 yeah. But get yeah, right, Isaiah. Take 42. We're going to touch on the, on the covering of the hair again. Verse 9 through 13. And that goes into the uh, the father-daughter relationship while, while she's under the also, covering of her father. Right, and women just ruling over men. You have to understand when, when the order changes. And when it's saying a man is, is it coming for a man to have long hair, it's coming for a man to look at a woman as his glory instead of Christ. Is that coming? Baby, talk to the Lord first. You know. You in a gang of brothers. My gal will break all you niggas off. Uh, <laughs> baby, baby. Break them off. Chapter 3. Y'all, we're going to do this, y'all. We're going to get our feet down. Yeah, I got it. No, Mally, right around verse 12. We'll read down a little bit. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Uh huh. Are we looking? Everybody there? Y'all, yeah. we, we don't want y'all to have no way, shape, or form to think a woman. Y'all have to be able to recoup. Y'all have to be able to do that. You know, the door is open for that. The scripture clearly says, she shall not in her teaching usurp a man's authority. It's more than, it ain't saying you just can't teach. It's saying if you teach and usurp a man's authority, you are totally out of line. You have switched roles. You have become his head. Because you're taking authority. Usurp means to gain authority, ain't it? Like Esther did Woodrow. You know the different thing. Like, like on uh, everybody loves Chris, how she do the dad. Mm -hmm. That's usurping authority. That's taking total control whether it's right, right or wrong. Yeah, we ain't got no money. We ain't got nothing to eat, but I saw that bracelet and I like it. Now get you a second job. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get question, got a question. What you got, brother? I mean, sis. What happens when um, there's a, a woman Talking to a man about he, he's not um, follow God's word and he doesn't know God's word and she starts to talk about scripture. Can she do that? Yeah. Well, I mean, as long as she ain't telling him this is the kind of man you're supposed to be, because it's not there's no instructions for her to tell a man how he should be. Neither is there instructions I mean, for a man to tell a woman how she should be. Oh, if you're going over, yeah, if they don't understand the scripture. 
it's, it's a fine line. It's a line you can't cross. It's, it's a fine line. It's a line that you lead him to the path where he'll get on his game. If not, you have to go to your backup husband, so to speak, and that's Christ. Christ. Christ's going to govern you. And what I mean is, when y'all read about Abigail and King David and her husband, Nabal, Nabal was a wicked man. And David asked for something to eat him and his men out. He's like, I don't care nothing about David. And David had helped him out. Yeah, him out. Say spur. So he like, I don't care nothing about David out there. And she like, David will kill my husband. She intervened on that part like, like uh, uh, the Ethiopian woman, Zipporah, intervened for Moses. Only under those circumstances, if it's a matter of life and death, but if she get to the point of teaching him, he gonna get comfortable with that. Yeah. He gonna be baby, uh, so uh, read me a little bit of that Genesis and break that off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I didn't mean it on a continual basis. I just meant like if you're in work. Just chopping it up. Like if you're chopping it up, yeah, but there's a fine line. You have to know how far you can go. As far as a man have to know how far we can go with another man's wife. Mm -hmm. There's a line you can't cross. See, what, what it is, is like you said, the example you are given is at work. You say something at work, and he asks you a question. You show him in the scripture, let him see it for himself. Then he's like, well, you know, and you give him something else, you give him something else. If he keep coming, you say, no, this is where that goes into it. Right, you right. have you to know. cut it off at that point because, because he's going to start coming to you. And then everybody gonna be coming to you, and then that's gonna get to your head. And then what happens is you'll be sitting at the chief seat, and they'll be sitting Indian style right below your feet. A whole congregation of men. So it's a line. It's just a line. It's the same line with men that they shouldn't cross. I guess my general question was because I didn't want it to seem like you know it's just gonna be going back and forth. My thing is. If it's just a woman and a man, can you even show him scripture? Because if you're discussing the scripture, if you're prophesying, yes. Because you've been given the order to prophesy. Right. Okay. And if you're teaching the word, you cannot usurp authority. So the question is, women have to understand what usurping authority is. They have to understand that. Y'all have to understand that to the letter. So if I teach you, this as far as I can go. If I cross this line, then I'm, I'm, I'm finna get what we get ready to read right here. Let's read. Isaiah chapter 3, verse 12. Book of Isaiah, chapter 3, verse 12. Uh -huh. As for my people, right, children of their oppressors. Who are they oppressing? Children of their oppressors. Right. And women rule over them. Right. Oh, my people over them. Women rule over them. And the only way to rule is to usurp authority. Right. Then you become the ruler. Yes, it's a difference between somebody coming to you and trying to get some understanding or somebody coming just to argue a point. Right. And there's a difference. Me trying to say, hey, don't just say, you know, it's real. Show me that in the script. Show it to him. And it's like, oh, okay, he broke off. But if he's steady coming back and back and back, hey, hey, you know, I'm trying to get some more understanding. At that point, where it's time to give understanding, let's teach you. Right. So you're like, you know what? Nah, I can't teach you. I can't pass it to one of my brothers. Right. And they'll bring you right on up to speed. Right, you feel right over That's what that's what it's supposed to be. Like if it's just somebody trying to say, what you believe is false, later for that, you can't even show. You can get whacked twice. Whack, whack, two witnesses. And then you do say that, you feel me? So either he gonna humble down and keep on, or he gonna humble down and keep on. If he humble down, he's like, hey, you know, sister, that was you know, good scripture yesterday. It's all good. Hey, what's the understanding on this stuff? Right now, you going to your scriptures, you're giving him more understanding. Right. More understanding to the point where he's coming to you to be taught. You right, absolutely. Right? That's, that's the only difference right there. If he's coming to be taught, pass him on off to the brush. That happened right. with my cousin and her so, husband. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Because, uh, that happened with my cousin and her husband. She's actually one of the first persons who, who led me to know, you know, right. our, about my true identity. But, you know, so as I got to study the scriptures, you know, I ended up, you know, advancing on really quick. Right. So I came over, you know, of course, she let me take the floor and, and tell her. So she, she didn't cross that line? No, she didn't cross That's the line, line. yeah, because she knew her place. But she, but the Lord used her to bring you into the understanding. Right. That's right. right. So had she never said that, then you wouldn't know. Right. 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 So she went out of her to say, you know, hey, you know. So it's a matter of teaching and a matter of correcting. Yeah. Yeah. Two different right. things. Christ told Mary, go tell the brothers, but ain't no seat for her. Don't you know? He said, he told the disciples, y'all sitting on 12 thrones judging, not Mary or Martha, none of them didn't get that spot. 
It is the order of whom leaps off, no matter what women are able to do according to the Lord. He going to keep them in a line and keep everything the way it's supposed to be in all. But let's get this, y'all, before we go, because we run out of time. We got to eat. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Come on. Read this up. As for my people, right. children of their oppressors, uh -huh. and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to error, and destroy the way of thy path. Right. Lord, stand them up to plead, and stand up to judge the people. Right. The Lord will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people. Right. And the princes thereof. For ye have eaten up the vineyard, the spoil of the poor is in your house. Verse 15. What mean ye that ye beat my people to pieces, and grind the faces of the poor, saith the Lord God of hosts? Moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks, and one time I see he said the daughters of Zion this is why every other nation mimic how the black woman is haughty and, and stretch forth necks you know that rolling of the neck that they do you know when they talk every time they show a black woman her neck has got to be like this now you see other nations women doing their neck the same way that haughty neck that I'm in control of this whole situation neck moves and it also said one time I, one time I right. want everything you see in control. And also Revelation 2.20 say you suffer that woman Jezebel to teach or any woman like that. You suffer to teach. You gave her permission to do it, man. So I'm punishing you. I'm getting you for that. Go ahead, brother. Walking and mincing as they go. Walking and mincing. Mincing is short, choppy steps of what we call switch strength. When you look up missing, it'll say short, choppy steps. <laughs> you got a dress on tight as skin, it's gonna be some short, choppy steps. <laughs> Is this the Jewish one? I mean, she matches if it's true. And making a tinkling with their feet. Uh -huh. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. Right. And the Lord will discover their secret part. Uh -huh. And that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments <laughs> about their feet and their calls and their round tires <laughs> like the moon. <laughs> the chains and the bracelets and the muffles, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel, and the mantles, and the wimples, and the crispin pins, the glasses, and the fine linen, and the hoods, and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. And understand this, this is when you say, you know, she fine and everything, but she got a stink of personality. I don't care how beautiful they are, if you if you have usurped authority on a man, you got a different look of how they're looking at you. It's always a stank look they be looking at. Yeah. So what all the counters change. You know, you almost looking at it like it's, it's ungodly at this point. It ain't good to look at. Right. Right. And instead of a girdle, a rent. Uh -huh. And instead of a, instead of well set her ball. See that? Cut it off like a man because we right back into this again. Instead of your hair being your words in the dish, uh, off with the hair. Uh, uh, so now we got some problems. All the sofa aid and all that ain't gonna do nothing about this ball. Okay. <laughs> so let, me, let me know how women hurt you be naturally wrong. Baby. That's right. Naturally wrong. You hey, what you got, Al? Not, not on the tape of the fan? Nah, none of that. And instead of whale said her ball. Right. And instead of a stomacher, a girdle of sackcloth, and burning instead of beauty. Thy means shall fall by the storm, and thy mighty in the wall, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she, being desperate, shall sit upon the ground. And understand this is why this government set the woman up to be to usurp authority over man. You know, you can't come in here, you ain't on my lease. You know, so if you get on the lease. 
then the art gonna change. So this is what's happening in this society to usurp authority. We're giving you everything, but women gotta know how to deal with that. Be wise as a serpent. Look, we gotta play this thing to the vets. You know, we ain't paying number eighteen dollars a month. But look, I mean, you, you steal somebody knock at the door. As long as it ain't the people from the government office, you can't answer the door. And he has to understand that. But anybody else, my family, or somebody come over, yeah, you the man of the house, but this is the order. They saying you can't be the man of the house here. If you stand there, all the man has to change that order. He can't live off of that continually with him living in that position that keeps her head up there. He's got to finally make a way to get from up under that so he don't be held accountable. Because Satan is going to keep him in that pit, in that hole, and trying to dig his way out. You know, and he's looking at $18 a month versus if I go get us a place and I'm going to move up to five, six hundred. Ooh, that's going to be tight on me. Well, you're going to keep yourself in this position and this is how Satan plays. I'm going to keep you backpedaling, man. You know, but this is just a quick one right here. This is in Apocrypha, uh, Ezra. Ezra 1, chapter 4. I'm just going to read a little bit. And this is talking about, they was asking about what is the greatest thing? Wine, women, or kings? And, and I'm just going to skip down to the part about, about the woman. Verse 22. Uh, uh, first Ezra chapter 4. Start at verse 22 for a minute. I just read that y'all. We're going to get our prayer on. I just wanted to read this again to tell you, even when kings are in the power that they're in, they tell him, he said, and he's breaking it off. He's like, yeah, women got a little power. And they, first they talked about drinking. They said, drinking, a man get drunk, don't know what he did. The next day, drinking is the most powerful. And they said, the woman, she, he said, king, I saw your woman slap the crown off your head. <laughs> By right, you were supposed to put her to death, but you kind of smile. Thinking about late on, the other side of midnight. <laughs> Let's get it. What's in now? What, what verse? 22. First Ezra, chapter 4, verse 22. Yeah. All right, in the pop, the book of Ezra. Y'all read all the chapter 4. We just get to the meetup. Go ahead, bro. First Ezra, chapter 4, verse 22. Uh huh. By this also, ye must know that women have dominion over you. Mm -hmm. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring all to woman? Mm -hmm. so, to the woman? Uh -huh. uh -huh. You think you went and got that Cadillac with that for Leroy then? Who you trying to impress? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you take penitentiary chances to please a woman. Won't you? Like straight. So this is why this, this guy is saying now that women is, is the most powerful. They got dominion over there. You go. First Corinthians 7 say the same Nation. thing. The husband do everything for his wife, but then say the woman do the same thing. More He pleased his wife more than he pleased the Lord. Mm. Nah, nah. So we got to understand these things, but this is explaining, this guy is explaining why he think the woman got power. Go ahead, bro. Verse 23. Verse 23. Yea, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and to steal, to sail upon the sea and upon rivers. So a man to take his pistol. Look, she telling you, ain't nothing under that Christmas tree. It's December the 24th. It's December the 24th and ain't nothing under that. Now Roscoe got his woman something. Johnny down the street got his woman something. I ain't got nothing. You gonna be without. You gonna be without, right? So he goes and reaches that bottom drawer to go rob and steal to get something for that holiday, and then he go to jail and mix the next twenty with her for that one day of satisfaction. Let's get some more. And she gonna get another good. Yeah, that's yeah. real. <laughs> verse twenty-five. Verse twenty-four. <laughs> and looketh upon a lion and go up in the darkness. When he hath stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. Right. See that what it's saying? He bring it all home. What did the boy do on the ATM rock? First thing, brought it home to his woman. There she is in Walmart, popping bangs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 You up in Walmart with bands and uh, 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 this lady is a 
<laughs> oh, they just made a call. So, yeah, we got who you're looking for. <laughs> their servant. Like Jesus. You have to understand, absolutely. Go ahead. For their sakes, verse 27, many also have perished and erred and sinned for women. So give up your life. Grave your love. Mm -hmm. I can't have you. I'm going to kill me. I'm going to kill the dog. I'm going to kill you too. Grave your love. Out of your wits. Go ahead. And now, do ye not believe me? Is not the great king in his power. Do not all regions fear to touch him. Like ain't no man gonna come up against you, king. No region. They know how hard you kill a king against another man. Let's read on. Yet did I see him and a pair, the king's concubine, the daughter of the admiral Barticus, sitting at the right hand of the king. And taking the crown from the king's head. She, he, he, but he's like, King, I just saw that beautiful woman, your concubine, pull a crown off your head. Keep on going. And taking a crown from the king's head and setting it upon her own head. Oh, what is that? Is that you serving the fall again? What am I? The, the, take the king's crown and put it on her head in front of all his royal subjects. <laughs> Let's read some more. She also. Struck the king with her left hand. <laughs> Come on, baby, damn. As Stay watching. Baby, let's get it. <laughs> and yet, for all the kings, all the kings got gate, gate, and gaze upon her with with open mouth. <laughs> if she laughed upon him, he laughed also. <laughs> but if she took any displeasure at him, the king was faint to flatter hey. that she might be reconciled to him again. I understand what this is just saying. It's saying that after she did that, and yet falls as the king gaped and gazed upon her with an open mouth. <laughs> you silly. <laughs> you <laughs> He gave the him with an open mouth. If she laughed upon him, he laughed also. He laughing at that like it's a joke. But she got the crown still on there. <laughs> Servants don't worry, it's temporary. <laughs> but if she took any displeasure at him, the king was fain to flatter her that she might not be reconciled. So now she mad, displeasure him. Then told him it's gonna be some iron draws treatment later on. <laughs> now he feigning and flat. Well, as I live as the king, I shall give thee all of the west coast of this land. And I shall give thee, he feigning and flattering because she displeased. Because yeah. her lips poked out. Mm -hmm. Huh? She got the baboon next. So now he feigning and flattering. Baby, what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, sugar dog? What's the juice? Right. <laughs> Let's get some more. What to say? All right. Verse 32, uh -huh. O ye men, right. how can it be but woman, women should be strong, uh -huh. seeing they do thus? Then the king and the princes looked one upon another, and he began to speak of the truth. So now he went on, y'all read the rest of the story, He because it was about wine, women, and truth. Yeah. And he broke off about wine, as you went and said, wine is wicked, the kings fall under wine, women are wicked, yeah. they, they fall under this, but truth is an absolute. Yeah. It's going to stand this test of time, and the truth of the matter is, when a woman teaches, she can't usurp authority over a man. That's the bottom line. If you feel yourself, women, you have to understand, a man can't tell you what usurping authority is. You have to know what it is, so that you don't do it, as well as a man have to know it. When she slapped him and take the crown from his head, and his mouth is agape. When he go to work and say, you know, tell everybody, well, 
No. Who wear the pants just came in, y'all. She fixed my house. You and actually wife. admit that she wears the pants mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. And you're joking about it. Right. Mm -hmm. Next. You become comfortable Make with joking about who wears the pants in the house. Yeah. No, it's gonna be some problems. Let's get this pro, y'all. Yeah. Y'all, we feasting on the last day of the Feast of Tabernacle, the 23rd chapter. This is the Holy Convocation to close that out, y'all. Y'all sisters, uh, y'all need to get with. Also, they have the sisters meeting every other Friday, I believe it is. Is that it? First and third Fridays down here, they get their teaching on. Y'all get that understanding. Then you understand what your role is. Men, we have our teaching Wednesday night conference call, or however we do it, and we understand. But we can't spend our time trying to teach a woman how to be a woman, or a woman trying to teach a man how to be a man. It's out of order. You don't know how to be no woman. Uh, what you gonna do, try on her clothes and show her how to walk in front of the mirror? <laughs> Psalm 97 with the most high permission. The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of idols be glad thereof. Clouds and darkness around about him. Righteousness and judgment are the habitation of his throne. A fire goeth before him and burn him up his enemies round about. His lightnings enlightened the world. The earth saw and trembled. The hills melted like wax at the presence of the Most High, mm. at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the people see his glory. Confounded be all they that serve graven images, mm. that boast themselves of idols, worship him, all ye gods, Zion heard and was glad. The daughters of Judah rejoiced because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou, most high God, art high above all the earth. Thou art exalted far above all gods. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteous, and gladness for the upright in heart. Rejoice in the Most High God, ye righteous, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. Hallelujah! Hallelujah.